So pretty frequently, I am asked how to use an RC4 dimmer to, d to control a device wirelessly that operates on a voltage lower than the minimum voltage I need to run the dimmer. So all RC4 Magic Series 3 harmonized design devices will operate from 6 volts to 35 volts. You should know there's a little bit of range under that. It will actually work down to 5. But here, for example, is a 3 volt dollar store toy candle. So when you buy it at the store, it runs on a little lithium cell, three volt lithium cell. And what we want to do is build this into a prop or a set piece and um, use it as a wireless candle. So it already has a little flicker thing in it. I have this dimmer set to defaults and um, I will now show you how we come up with that voltage. So here's a battery pack. It has many spaces and what I've done is taken taps off different points. So let's put my first battery in and we know these are one and a half volt batteries so at that point I have one and a half. I put another one in and at that point I have three volts. Look at the chart below and you'll see a sort of the totem diagram makes this even clearer. I put a third one in and I have four and a half volts and when I get to the fourth one I have six volts. So I have the common black wire at the bottom of all of that at what we'll call zero volts. I go up two cells and I have a tap at three volts. I go up two more cells and I have a tap at six volts. A tap is just a connection. So I put a red wire there and I mark it as three volts. I put a red wire at the top and I mark it as six volts. Take the six volts and go into the dimmer because that's the minimum, minimum voltage we recommend you powering the dimmer on. For the positive side of the candle, put that on the three volts. So the magic trick here is the dimming in our RC4 dimmers happens on the negative side. Really cool, because that means the supply voltage, always on from the battery or power supply, can vary and be different for different devices. So my tap for three goes to the plus side of my candle, and my top of this uh, totem pole, if I had more batteries it would be a tap, but in this case it's the top, and six volts goes into the dimmer. The dimmer now is powered by six, the candle is powered by three, it's one pack of batteries, and the dimmer is in default settings. So I am going to bring up channel one. And the first thing that we will notice is in all the dimming range, the candle is not coming on until I get to the very top, which is here. And then we see there is, that's exactly how it looks when you put the three volt lithium cell in and it does a little flickering. So we're not quite there. We want it to dim. Some of our competitors sell rather expensive dimmer smoother devices and we don't need that. What we can do is set the PWM frequency up very, very high and we get past the um, inadequacies of the electronics in the candle, ending up with a situation where it dims beautifully just by making that one change and we can do that by pushing a button a couple of times. There's another tutorial that goes through PWM frequencies and I've got an oscilloscope there and you can see the wave get faster. But here, we're just gonna step through all of that again really quickly. First, let's set up the test circumstance. We're gonna dim it down. So, on the default of 615 hertz, it doesn't work. Now I hold set B, because that is how we change PWM frequency and after the three to four second period, it gives us a blink that represents the next frequency step up so that was the blink. And we are now at 1.2K, no change. Let's step up to 5K. Set B, hold for the timeout because it's a long press. And we get to 5K. I don't think you can see it, but now we have a very tiny kind of a weak artifact effect in there. It's a very fast blink. It's basically electronics struggling and not quite getting there. Now we'll hold it again, and the next increment on PWM is 10K. And wait for the timeout, and there we have 10K. Wow, it's gone now. <laughs> so let's see how the dimming looks at 10K. We can, it's just wonderful that we can dim that up and down. But I will tell you, I feel with my eye, I don't know if the camera is catching this for you, but as I dim it down, the flickering is maybe not quite as deep Right around there, it's hard. I might not be right about that, but even so, let's go up another level. We're at 10K now, let's go to 20. Hold it down again. And we wait for the timeout, and there we go. We're now at 20. Really, I'm pretty sure that flickering is looking a little bit deeper. 
And it's the dimming that we care about here, so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm putting it out and you can barely see it, but it is still on there. Going down, it is still on. So I now have smooth dimming of a toy dollar store candle flicker that at first, and with most dimmers you might get elsewhere, doesn't seem to dim at all. So that's really pretty cool. Yet another amazing feature of RC4 wireless dimmers.